Retired President Uhuru Kenyatta has stressed on the need for peace in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Great Lakes region. Uhuru held talks with Burundi President Evariste Dishyeme in Bujumbura, said without peace it will be difficult for the region to realize development and prosperity. Speaking after paying a courtesy call to the President of the Republic of Burundi, Evariste Ndeashimi, Retired President Uhuru Kenyatta was hopeful that the ongoing peace process will ultimately bring peace to the people of eastern part of DRC. Peace and then ultimately for displaced persons to be able to go back to their homes, to resettle, to go back to their farms, for uh, stability to be restored in the region. Uhuru was on a two-day official visit attending the 11th summit of the Regional Oversight and Cooperation Framework for the Democratic Republic of the region, confirming the possibility of an upcoming East African summit. We were basically just going through the preparations of uh, the possible upcoming East African summit so that we can see how we can take forward some of the issues that were deliberated upon yesterday, all aimed at bringing peace to the people of Congo, especially the eastern part of the DRC. The returned president who had also presented his report to heads of state on the progress and recommendations for the next important steps of the Nairobi-led peace process during a closed-door session emphasized the need for peace and stability in the region. It's not only going to be uh, in Congo's favor, it is going to be in favor of the entire region so that people can trade with one another, people can move goods and services. This is the way to bring development and prosperity to the entire region. But uh, that is not possible without peace. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musali Mudavadi, who represented President Ruto in the talks in Bujumbura, said it's only the regional leaders who can deliver lasting peace for the Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan and the region. Mudavadi loaded the country's member states for the peace, security and cooperation framework in their quest towards restoring peace, security and stability in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan and the Great Lakes region at large. Sarafina Robi for Sunday Express.